Hi, I'm Lori Gebert with Asset View. Thanks for joining me for this high level overview of Asset View Inventory's mobile application. Let's jump right into it. So one of the key features of the mobile app is the ability to use the camera on your smartphone or your tablet to scan an asset tag. Let me show you how to do that. So if you see at the top, there's a little icon that kind of looks like a barcode. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. It's gonna open the camera uh, on my phone. I'm using an iPhone, but you can use an Android device as well. I've got some QR codes here. You can use single line barcodes as well. Just have these available for demo purposes. And I'm gonna go scan those and I'm gonna stop my scan. And you can see it's populated the information regarding the assets. I'm gonna go ahead and select laptop two. Uh, and let's say that I wanted to change the information about the employee. I'm gonna click on the employee field, change that to Holly, click on done and hit save. You can obviously make changes to any of the fields that you have. Um, in the um, application and everything will sync up to the web-based version of the application as well. We're going to back out of this asset, close out of here, and I'm going to show you how to add an asset. So at the bottom, you'll see the add asset button. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and you're going to see it's going to bring up all of the fields to fill out. A quick way to put your tag number information in is if you see the tag number primary field is bolded, click on that field, click on the grayed out barcode looking uh, icon here to the right, we're going to go ahead and scan the tag. We're going to hit continue and hit done. And you're going to see the tag information is already in there. Now we can just go ahead and fill out the rest of the fields regarding the asset. I'm not going to save this one. It's just for demo purposes. So I'm going to hit cancel up here at the left. Uh, and now we're back to the home screen. Also wanted to show you how to quickly search a tag uh, or search by name. So if we hit the magnifying glass icon up here to the right, um, and let's go ahead and see, we need to search a tag. So we're going to hit the um, grayed out barcode icon there, open up the camera, scan that tag, going to hit continue. And then we're going to click on the tag itself. And it's going to show you that that tag is associated with top one. You can open that up. Here's all the information that you need to know about that asset. I'm going to go ahead and back out of that. We're going to go ahead and uh, cancel out of this and go back into that magnifying glass one more time to search by name. So in this instance, let's say I wanted to look up information about asset names uh, that have the word laptop in them. I'm going to hit search laptop, hit return, and there's the information regarding any asset uh, name that includes the word laptop. And then I can, of course, open up any of those, make any modifications I need to, and save that information. Last thing I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna X out of here, is the ability to do an audit in a room or a department um, if you ever would have a need. So for this particular instance, um, we're gonna audit um, a department and I'll show you how we do that. So the, the top, you've got a uh, little sound looking icon here to the left. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. I'm gonna select a container. And when I select a container, it's going to ask me if it's a location or a room. For the purposes of this, I'm going to select a room, though I have the room built out um, as an organization and a department, which I'll show you in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And then I'm going to say that Lori's company uh, is what I want to audit and that the IT department specifically is what I wanted to audit. So we're going to go ahead and click on IT right here and we're going to hit start scan. Now, I've got a wireless um, Bluetooth scanner uh, with me right here, and that's what I'm going to use. I've got it paired to my um, iPhone, and I'm going to go ahead and start selecting a couple tags. And you're going to see that you're going to get a couple different colors and numbers as we do this. And let's say that that's all the assets that I needed to search. I needed to scan for the audit, and I'm going to head and stop my scan. Now you're going to see that you've got a couple of different things that populate here. Green at the bottom means that the item was expected to be found in this room. It was found, so green is good. Yellow means that this is a new tag. This tag is not in the system, uh, and the system didn't recognize it, so it's letting you know that by turning it yellow. Um, purple means uh, the tag is in the system, but it didn't expect it to be in this location. Um, so this asset has been moved. And the red simply means that it expected you to scan these items during this audit, but they weren't, so it's gonna record those as missing. Um, that is, everything that I'm showing you today in this high level overview. I hope that you found it helpful. And if you have any other further questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye bye.